you might call him Lord of the Rings. The tree ring lab is hands-on, and so we encourage everybody to touch these pieces of wood. This is a cross-section of a redwood tree. David Staley is a dendrochronologist at the University of Arkansas. The annual growth rings of trees are uh, a natural archive of environmental history. The time series history of fat rings and skinny rings is telling you about the history of wet years and dry years. So this is a piece of African blood wood. This was found in Western Zimbabwe. Long before high-tech weather instruments, nature has kept precise records of rain, drought, even fires. The climate history encoded in the annual rings of trees is unique. It's like fingerprinting. With support from the National Science Foundation, Staley is helping Mexico prepare for future droughts by looking at how trees responded to severe drought in the past. That will help fine-tune predictions about how future dry spells will impact the ecosystem and could help the country prepare for future water and energy needs. One notion is that this 21st century drought may be being aggravated by human activity, both at the global scale and at the regional scale due to land surface changes. Deciphering tree rings can also help historians solve mysteries, like the fate of the New World's lost colony of Roanoke. Could drought have been a factor? This is a piece of bald cypress from Blackwater River, Virginia. That is the most severe drought of 800 years in this part of the United States. And that's a significant year because of the disappearance of Virginia Dare and the other colonists at the Roanoke Colony in North Carolina. This is a Swedish increment borer, and with this tool we can extract a core sample without seriously harming the tree. In the field, Staley and his team target old growth forests with the least imprint of human activity. Oh man, these are stupendous trees. They are so precious. And that's a ringing endorsement from this Lord of the Rings. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.